Welcome to Everyday Linux User. OpenSUSE has a huge community of followers and they love their distribution. And if you say something bad about it, they will tell you why you are wrong. But as somebody who has used Linux for over 20 years, I just don't get the hype. Today, I'm gonna to list some of my frustrations with OpenSUSE compared to other Linux distributions. Before I start, I will say, however, that I really do like the installer. It does the partitioning incredibly well and seems to guess what you need with almost psychic perception. So for that, I give it 10 out of 10. Far better than the actual Fedora installer. So today I installed OpenSUSE Leap for the first time in a long time, and I went for the network image and chose the GNOME desktop. And these are kind of like the most obvious options if you look at the website. And these are the things that have happened on day one. So on the first boot into the desktop, I had no applications at all. I had to reboot for them to appear. So if you're a new user and you've just installed OpenSUSE Leap for the first time, you get to a blank desktop and there's no applications. That would be fairly frustrating. Obviously, I knew that rebooting would be probably the right thing to do, and I did, and everything then appeared. Number two, what is going on with Wi-Fi? When I click on a Wi-Fi network, it's not asking me to enter the password. And even if I go into the network settings, I have to go into the actual settings to be able to enter a password. So what is going on with the Wi-Fi? If I use Ubuntu or Mint or one of the other distributions, then when I click on a Wi-Fi network, it asks me for the password and I can connect. Number three, printing. So I have a HP printer. And whilst I can use the GNOME print manager to set up a HP printer, Initially, the make and model of my printer isn't there. So what I did was I opened one of the two software managers and I installed HP Lip, which is the HP setup tool for installing HP printers. So I opened HP Lip and it didn't find my printer. So I entered the network address. And I get through the setup stage and then it asks for a user and password, but then it says I don't have permission and it might be firewall setting related. So instead I chose to use the YAST print manager. So this is now print tool number three, and this gets me a bit further and everything seems to work. Except when I get to the end, there is no obvious notification that the printer has in fact been set up. So I ended up going to the GNOME print setup again and set up my printer. And this time it worked okay. I basically used three tools to set up my printer and the one that ended up working was the one I started off originally, but I had to go through the other two to be able to get that far. And now this is a distro for the common computer user, right? Mint, Debian, Ubuntu, Zorin, Fedora, Nabara, MX, Manjaro, and Deva, Kashi. They all find the printer straight away without issue and with the correct version. Number four, software. There are two graphical software tools. Um, there's the GNOME Software Center and there's YAST. To install packages such as OBS Studio, you need to install either the Pac-Man repository, you need to set up flat packs, or you need to set up snaps. You have to do this from either a different YAS tool or via the command line using zipper. And using zipper is actually the easiest option in this case. Again, is this really good for new users? I don't think it is. I mean, Mint, Ubuntu, Zorro, Nabara, MX, Manjaro, Endeavor, Kashi, etc. all either have a software tool that makes it easy to install common packages like OBS, or they make it easy to set up flat packs via the software manager. Number five, this. When installing software, you will see this screen, especially when you first install OpenSUSE. You open up the YAS software manager here to install software, and it says it can't install anything because it's waiting for something else to finish. It doesn't tell you what it's waiting to finish. The fact is it's installing updates in the background, but it's not obvious where that is or how long that's going to take. And so you'll, for a new user, I can imagine you can continue to hit the force quit, force quit, force quit, and it's not going to do it. Then you're going to get frustrated. Essentially, you have to wait for it to finish the updates before this will start working. And number six, and this one's a bit of a silly one and it's a bit of a bonus because I was going to stop at number five. But the first time I saw the wallpaper, I thought my screen had broken. It took me a few seconds to go, oh no, it's just the rubbish wallpaper. I mean, look at these little blocks of color. It makes you think that your screen's tearing in some way or other. So my recommendation is to change your wallpaper. So again, this video is going to probably annoy the OpenSUSE fans once more. And 
I don't deliberately set out to annoy people, but at the same time, I just don't get it. Why do you love this distro so much? I can think of any of about 20 distributions that I prefer op over OpenSUSE and that are much more suitable to the new user and to the everyday Linux user. So leave me a comment in the comment section as to why is OpenSUSE better than some of these other distributions, because I just don't get it. And that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.